Meanwhile, the rest of the U.S. troops arrived in Honduras today. News 4's John Crane was there as they landed. It was an impressive show of force as U.S. paratroopers filled the skies over central Honduras. The 800 infantrymen hit the ground running, fully aware of the circumstances that brought them here and deadly serious about carrying out their mission. I'm here to train. I'm here to do what they told me to do. Bring what you got. Come right on in here. And that is to practice the maneuvers of war, but officials tried to downplay its significance. It's not really that different. Uh, it, it's a typical uh, um, E-Dream mission, uh, just a short no-notice call out. But clearly, this is no ordinary training mission. The events of the past week have brought an added dimension, intensity, passion. <laughs> the troops are pumped up, proud to carry out their commander-in-chief's orders. More horsemen. Forever, and so is Ronald Reagan. The president's representative here, U.S. Ambassador Everett Briggs, shared the enthusiasm, though he had little to say about what it all means. Very impressive. Very impressive. Very impressive. Yeah. But General Humberto Regalado Hernandez, the commander-in-chief of Honduras Armed Forces, sees the exercise as a relief from the current crisis. Not only the morale of the troops, but the morale of the Honduran people has been reinforced by this. So U.S. troops have now staked out their ground, not as combat reinforcements, but as symbols of strength in a region fighting for peace. In Honduras, John Crane, News 4. And coming up on News 4 at 6, John Crane will have more on the military exercises being conducted by our troops in Honduras.